Welcome to week four. This week we're going to study whether or not whistleblowers actually help government. I once worked for a company that uh, the CEO is a massive company, really an international company, and the CEO used to say, do the right thing. Yet it used to seem to me that when it came to doing the right thing, sometimes he did the wrong things, or it was really the things that really helped out the stockholders rather than the system in which I work. So it really begs the question, what is the right thing? And I thought I'd take a little different tack this week. Um, we wrote an introduction that really talks about couples and finding out, one, uh, finding out infidelity and whether you should blow the whistle on it. And the reason for that was to get you to see it from a more personal, uh, local level that really the same principles apply. You're still trying to decide what is the right thing. So I thought I would take us back here to uh, ancient Greece because that question existed clear back then. In ancient Greece there were really two main uh, philosophies. One was based on Plato and his work called Platonism and the other was based on the Sophists which is a group of uh, individuals, really a lot of them came over from Sicily and uh, their, their goal was to argue in the court. They couldn't themselves argue, so they would teach the Athenian young males who were the only ones that were, would eventually be able to argue in court. So it was really two different ways of thinking. Platon did, or Plato did not like the sophists because they charged money to teach the youth. On the other hand, Plato had money and didn't need it. So it's kind of an interesting break. Plato believed, and is part of Platonism, that there is a truth that exists outside of our awareness. In other words, um, this might be what, what you think of when you think of God, for example, that uh, God is a, is a truth that exists beyond our basic awareness. And Plato believed that our job, especially as attorneys, was to focus solely on discerning the truth. So in the case of court, it wasn't about making the better argument, it was about finding out what is the truth. And I think that in a lot of ways that rings, um, excuse the pun, true for a lot of us, that there really is a truth, that there is a right thing, that there is something that we can count on beyond our own experiences. On the other side of the argument are the sophists. And the sophists basically believed that there's how can you get outside, as it says here, how can we get outside of ourselves to know that there is a truth outside of ourselves? In other words, how can we get outside of our awareness to know that there is something out there? And in philosophy, that's called the God's eye problem. In other words, in order to know what's outside of us, outside of the human experience, we'd have to be God. And they would say, really, they don't know if there's a God or a not or a truth or not. What their focus is on making the best argument for the case. And so they tended to argue and focus uh, on the audience. What is it that will persuade them? What, is, what are the facts of the case and how can they make those facts go forward to best defend their client? And if you really think about this, it should sound familiar because this is what our current training for lawyers is based on. That you have to be able to argue either side of the case and give the defendant, no matter what the crime is, give them their best possible defense without worrying about what is the truth or what is not the truth. Their legal obligation is to make the very best case for their client. So what is the right thing to do? And when you're in a situation at work and you see something wrong, you could you could say that you, you should tell, but there would be consequences. Um, it really depends on the situation, I think. But uh, some people would say no matter what the result, that we should come forward with that information, with the truth. Others would say, well, it depends on the situation. So that's what you need to think about. Just know that this question has been going on for thousands of years. And as far as I know, nobody's answered it yet.